Hi everyone, welcome back to Funston TV. This is my Tran and today I'm going to be sharing with you how to fill in your brows. As you can see, I don't have anything on my brows today and I'm going to be showing you my routine to how to fill them. And I usually use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz on a daily basis, but today I'm going to be showing you how to fill in your brows using the Makeup Forever Aqua Brows. I really like that product lately because it's great for summer. It gives you a really, really defined line to your brows. Plus, it's waterproof, so that's really great for summer. Okay, so here's my Makeup Forever Aqua Brow. I am using the shade 30. It's a dark brown because I have almost black hair, so this shade, I think, works really well for me. And to apply it, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow brush and this is a dual ended one it has like a slanted brush on one side and a spoolie on the other side so first what you want to do is just look in a mirror and find the natural shape of your brow just comb through your brows and make sure that your hairs will all be sticking in one direction for me particularly brows is always a struggle because I have like really thin eyebrow hairs that just stick all in different directions it's just the oddest thing but you know, we make it work. So this product is really, really potent. So you just need a teeny tiny bit and you don't want to go in with too much of a heavy hand because once it's on heavily, it's really hard to take off, but you can build it up slowly to make it look more natural. So that's what we're going for. So just take a tiny, tiny dot on your hand like this. This is about all you need for one brow. Okay, and with a clean brush, I just dip a tiny bit in like this and even rub off the excess. You want to start really lightly and then build it up. I always start with the lower part of my brow and then fill in the upper part after. So um, I'm going to start on the beginning of the tail right here and just draw little strokes outwards staying on the lower part of your brow and extending the tail out to where you want it. You're basically drawing the guideline right now as to where you want your brow to be and how you want it to stick out. You can also adjust like how long you want the tail to come out and stuff at this point. You do that step one more time with a bit more product. I'm going to extend the tail to about where it aligns with the wing of my eye line, like that. You see it right here? I always want to align the tip of my eyeliner like that to the brow. You can feel free to do it shorter or longer however you want. Okay, so now just pick up a bit more product and begin to fill in the tail of your brow following the initial line you just did. Just work in little strokes and again my number one tip would be to start off with a light hand and then build it up because this product again is super super potent. It's very dark and once it's on, it's on. It's like it's a waterproof product and once you already have all your makeup on, the last thing you want to do is mess up your brows and then you have to do your makeup all over again. Okay, so now that my tail is filled in, what you're going to do is pick up a little bit of product and fill in the first half of your brow. We're going to fill it in with light strokes starting at the bottom of the brow. I want my brow today to look more natural, so I'm not going to really define this part here. I'm just going in with light strokes like this and imitating the look of little hairs. And then I'm just slowly working my way up to the upper part of the brow right here. And then for the inner corner of your brows, I don't want it to be really defined, so I'm taking just a tiny bit, slightly imitating little hairs like this and then we go upwards a bit just follow the natural curve and growth of your hairs and fill in the top like that and then lastly just comb through your brows with the spoolie slightly for all those strokes that you made to blend in together that's how i want my brows to look like Okay, now I'm going to show you how to do the other brow from more up close. So we're just going to follow the same exact technique. I just have a little bit of product on. I dabbed a little bit on my brush. 
I wiped off the excess because I just want a little tiniest of the product to just draw the outline of the tail first. So again, with really light strokes, I'm just going to start right here on the lower part of the brow and draw a little tiny stroke to define how I want my tail to look. And then extend it out for it to meet the outside of your eyeliner like this. That's just your outline. Then go in with a bit more and fill in your tail really lightly and build up the color slowly. Just fill in any sparse areas and make sure you follow the natural growth direction of your hairs. I'm happy with the way the tail looks right now. And I'm gonna grab a bit more product and basically for the rest of the brow here, I'm just gonna imitate the look of the little hairs and fill it in a lot less dark than the outer tail. I would always suggest when you fill in your brows to always follow the natural shape of your brows and do not try to accentuate it too much or it's gonna look less natural. Now just build it up until you're happy with it. I'm just going to define the tail a bit more. So as you can see, I always like my brows to be darker on the outer tail and lighter in the inner corner here because if you draw your inner corners as dark as the outer tail, you're going to look really mad. This is pretty much how it looks and how I fill in my brows when I use the Apple Brows. I'm really into this product right now. I love the way it looks. I hope this video was really helpful for you. Please thumbs up this video if you like it. Let me know down in the comments below what is your favorite brow product. And I hope you're having a good one and I'll see you soon. Bye. Now you need to help me. Oh, it looks nice. Can you pause it for me? Hi, Ned. <laughs> How's my brow look? Good. <laughs>